Hello, welcome back to our uh, soil water assessment tool modeling. And last time we saw how to create HIUs, uh, but today we'll see how to edit inputs and run SWAT model. So let's go ahead and uh, start our today's session. So go ahead and click edit inputs and run SWAT. When you click that, SWAT editor will load, and here is where you import the file containing your project. So go ahead and open and start import. So after the project has loaded, uh, we have uh, uh, this pan on the left, which is a navigation pan. So here you can see it's a project setup. Here is edit SWAT inputs. Here it's a light up inputs and here it's where you learn your model. Here is where the model is analyzed, uh, uh, depending on the output after running the model. So, go ahead and uh, edit SWAT inputs. So, after clicking edit SWAT inputs, here you will have uh, an application pan added in your left. Here you will see there is climate uh, section and here there is simulation section. So, today we will see these sections, climate and simulation. So let's start with uh, climate section where we'll uh, load our weather generated data and our weather stations. Okay, let's start with weather generated data. To uh, import weather generated data, uh, click here. Then here it's where you import your data. Uh, if you didn't uh, download the data in the installation process, uh, you can go ahead and download it from this link. So now we are going to import the data. Uh, okay, here, uh, first I, I, I imported some data, so it will ask me either to delete the existing stations uh, and leave them unchecked. Or, and uh, there is another uh, checking button here. Make sure to check it using the observe uh, weather data. This will prevent the model from uh, creating the stations uh, according to the weather generated data. So go ahead and start import. Okay. After it has uh, already imported, go ahead to the weather stations. So if you have the weather data, uh, you go ahead and import here, but if you are missing the weather data for your location, uh, CFRIS provides the weather data for the whole world, so you can go ahead and follow the link and download your data. So here, import data. Here it's where you select your data format. So the data format you are using uh, is not this from the website, but it's SWAT plus. Then here you select the directory where you go ahead to the desktop uh, example data set, rob it and here select climate data. Uh, after that uh, start the input. So here our weather station has uh, loaded. Uh, you can see the data we have precipitation, temperature, soil radiation, uh, relative humidity, wind. Uh, we don't have the data of wind direction. Okay, now that we have the weather station, uh, we can go ahead to our simulation. So in simulation, we have two tabs, which is time and print. So click time. This time uh, tab allows you to select the uh, simulation period of your model. So the longer the time, uh, the slower the model. So here we have 1990 to 2013. So you may want to put a little bit short time for the model to learn, maybe to uh, 1997. So it's the ending year of the simulation. Uh, I will start from 1990. So go ahead and save changes. Okay. So in this split section, uh, it's where you uh, prepare the warmer period for your model to learn. And actually, it also provides the objects that you want uh, the model to bring the output. So, you, so in selecting items, the model default is yearly based. So, select the ones that you 
uh, need so for instance uh, for this presentation I'll select the channel output and the water balance at HAUs and maybe water balance at the basin output so you can also check daily uh, outputs but it will take long time for it to run so be patient uh, when running model after checking the daily output now after you have selected the uh, output you need uh, go ahead and save changes then after there go ahead and like the input files so basically here we like uh, the files uh, in order for us to for us to learn SWAT so go ahead and save and light files We can start lighting files. So after we have written the files, uh, now we are going to run our model. So go ahead. So here we have uh, a debug version. So if you select this, uh, maybe you have a problem in learning your model. So you can select this. Actually, it's going to take a long time, so I just advise let us just learn uh, SWAT model. So go ahead and click SWAT and SWAT. So the model will start uh, running. So after this SWAT uh, model has completed, uh, here the execution is successful completed. So go ahead and close. So the next step is to analyze the model output. So basically here it's where you import your output text files uh, into the database so that you can visualize them uh, in the QSWAT plugin. So go ahead and import output. Start importing output. So the output uh, imports will take long if you selected uh, uh, more items so after we have successfully imported the uh, the output here we'll have uh, a tab showing exist SWAT uh, plus editor so go ahead and check this so after that you will be directed to uh, QSWAT plugin where uh, the imported uh, uh, results will be visualized so this as fourth step becomes only available after you have successfully imported the result from SWAT editor to QSWAT. So in order to visualize your result, click visualize. So as you can see, the map uh, has uh, changed a bit. So uh, normally uh, in the visualization of the result, there is different scenarios. So by default, uh, the SWAT plus uh, allows you to choose the SWAT plus output tables. Actually, these tables are the ones that uh, you selected in uh, the uh, print layout. So make sure you check only those that you intended to use in, uh, in your model. So the ones we selected are the ones that are going to be uh, visualized. Here we have the start date and finish date of our visualization and here below we have our static data or static maps that will be displayed according to your result here it's where you will be allowed it to show animation uh, in the flow of the time scale that you will uh, provide in the visualization and here it's where you will plot uh, tables uh, to show the data uh, in the visualization so Let's go ahead and choose uh, what we want to display or visualize in our results. So in order to start visualizing our result, you should choose the output table. So we'll start by selecting the channel uh, water balance or incoming outgoing sediments and nutrients as well as storage. So select that. Here you'll have the static data or the map uh, and here you'll be able to create the animation. So in order to do all this, first you need to choose the variable. So here you will choose the variable. So in case, let me just select flow out. 
So go ahead and find flow out. Here it is. So create flow out. Then add. Then you should select it and create. Click yes. So uh, try minimizing this bar. So you can see the flow out uh, has been created as the static map here. So let's try to visualize the animation also. So here I go to animation, uh, select the variable that is flow out. Flow out. Then here you can uh, play. Uh, as you play, you can view the simulation so this is uh, the monthly data so you can try speeding it up a bit so as you can see the uh, liver channels filling up at the uh, rainy season and drying out at the dry season uh, also you can record this so you can record this by clicking here start recording so you can pull it out and uh, the speed almost three and start recording and play so you can see the uh, monthly data of the channel filling out uh, on the dry season and filling in in the uh, rainy season so you can also stop it and if you stop it it will be saved <laughs> so the file will be saved at uh, this location as a video gif you'll go and uh, see it on that, on that directory so let's see another variable so the input table let's select the uh, hlu level of the um, let's say water balance at the hlu level let's see the static and here let's select the evapotranspiration so um, et this one after selecting the et you add it here and select then create so this will be the evapotranspiration data of your uh, catchment at the HRU level. So after that, you can also change the colors. So here at the layer panel, uh, okay. Here at the layer panel, you can see the results. So this is the uh, evapotranspiration. So just double click that and select the colors you want maybe this one then apply okay okay so after we have selected that variable uh, you can also uh, create the animation uh, okay so for creating animation also you can choose the variable which is et and after choosing the et you can play so evapor transpiration changes as uh, the time uh, goes this is yearly so you can try like putting a little bit low i mean speed so uh, go ahead and play so this is a yearly data so actually that's how we visualize our, our our results now that we have seen the static data and animation uh, let's see the plot option here is where you plot the visualize the results so go ahead and check the variable uh, the SWOT output table first which is the channel then after that choose the uh, variable which is uh, flow out 
then select the number of channel that is uh where the outflow is so actually it will be here in the lower length so here you see the channel so just select that in order to know the uh which channel is this so check the identification tool and you see it's channel 53 so after that uh go back and here it's where you select the number uh there are almost uh, 91 channels so select the number 53 after that you add to plot then you plot the results so here it's where you save so actually i'll save the output okay so this it will be in csv format then save so this is the output of the uh the the channel in their years so here we have 1991 1992 93 94 95 to 1998 so this is december 1997 so it will range until 1998 also you can add the observed data that you have taken in the field or after surveying the flow uh in the in the channel so that you can compare the simulated flow and the observed flow to do this uh, choose the observed data file so from here go ahead to the desktop uh, lobby data and here you select the observed which is this one so right click it and uh, try seeing the data so it's from 1993 to 1997 so close then add so the data will be uh, visualized from 1993 so make sure you change here 1993 to 1997 then after that you click this add observed after that you can plot now so let's save this file as a uh, compari comparison file save so the graph will be uh, of the data that are uh, after simulation of the model and the observed data also you can save this uh, chart from this option here so you can save it maybe at the desktop and that image save and here also we have the default uh, performance of our model so the person co co correlation coefficient is 0 0.76 thank you for listening and we have reached on our final day of presentation on soil water assessment tool uh, there are a lot of steps which are very important like preparation of data and how to calibrate the model so that you can work and uh, be more specific on your uh, watersheds or any project that you are working on so you can email us or leave a comment and we'll be glad to help